Okay. This is how to test your block for a goofy head gasket using the block tester. I borrowed this from AutoZone. Run the engine until it's warm. Bring the antifreeze level down with the turkey baster or drain some fluid out so it's below the the inlet there by a couple inches. Okay. Make sure there's no antifreeze that's gonna get into this tester. If you suck up any antifreeze in there, it'll mess up your test. It comes with this test fluid. It's blue. Pour it into the fluid fill line. The test kit also comes with a little suction bulb. You just apply that to the top of this. And you pull the air from the cooling system through this. Okay, but it looks like I just sucked some antifreeze in again. So, so that's what you don't want to happen. So I got antifreeze in there. That messed up my test. I'm going to have to empty this out, rinse it out, and repeat. I'm going to bring the cooling level down a little more. Okay, I drained some more coolant out to bring this down a couple inches. Rinse this out with some clean water. You can see there's no fluid in the top of the radiator. So now I'm going to just apply suction again. The instructions say to do this for two minutes. But if it turns yellow before two minutes, that's confirmation. Okay, yeah, see, I'm getting antifreeze again. So, um,. The problem I'm having is it circulates this way from this upper hose and the engine's pumping coolant up into here and when I apply suction it's helping it pull through. So this is my first time doing this but anyhow I might have to lower the coolant down a little more. Okay, third third attempt. I lowered the coolant down a little more. Okay, just checking if there's any antifreeze being pulled up. Okay, so far so good. I see a little antifreeze again. Oh boy. They say to do this with the engine running, but I don't see how you can do that with the thermostat, uh, the radiator cap right next to the return hose, unless you lower the fluid down quite a bit. And they really don't want to run it without an, without cooling in the system. So I'll lower it a little more and I'll repeat. Okay, what I figured out is the trick is. You don't want to release the bulb too quickly, just release it kind of slowly so it doesn't pull too suddenly from the radiator. Then you're, you're not likely to get uh, coolant pulling up into there. You don't want to pump this rapidly and quickly over time, time after time. Just do it nice and slow and then check, make sure you don't see the fluid level increasing there. looking a little yellow but it's hard to say because I'm 
getting a little bit of antifreeze around the radiator cap hole opening here. Okay, I dried it off with a towel. And I'm just continuing slowly pulling on this with, with the section bulb. Through, so that's good. Yeah, I see a little bit of antifreeze pulling up. Just gonna wipe it off with a towel so it doesn't suck up into the tool, into the tester. Okay, I've been pulling the, the air through the fluid from the radiator for two or three minutes now. And it didn't turn yellow. It's got a little bit of antifreeze mixed in there, so it looks a slight green. But I think it'd be like really yellow if it was a leaky head gasket. So I'll just say this, is, this test is negative for blowing head gasket. I'm going to repeat the test again later. That's my little uh, video on this tester.